Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming coming to you from a fun survival world land. In this episode, we're going to be taking care of something pretty cool. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at an automatic cactus farm. This bad boy is one of my fa favorite creations. I'm telling you right now, this thing's wicked. All you do is just walk up here. Hey look, automatic cactus farm. What you say? Damn, there's just cactus right there. Let's go ahead and throw those in. I just took it out, but you're probably gonna get like a stack every like 20 minutes, something like that, half an hour, give or take. Um, it is super handy and I just keep it right there. As you can see, they're just flowing, constantly dropping off. Uh, cactus galore, I've only had it for a couple days. Um, and it's pretty straightforward to make. However, this thing pumps out so much cactus that I don't even really need anymore. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna jump over to my creative world. It is time consuming. Uh, it is pretty resource friendly, but we're just gonna jump over to my creative world right now where I'm gonna build this for you where it's a lot faster because I already got one. So uh, without any further ado, let's jump over to my creative world and make an automatic cactus farm. Okay, so here we are in my uh, creative world where I do a lot of stuff, but lately I've been uh, jumping out back uh, because there's not that much light in here and I'm running out of space. So let's go out back where I have a bunch more tutorials ready to go and let's go over here and finish this uh, bad boy up. So what you're going to start off with here, guys, is a 15 by 15 square. That's three deep in the middle so this middle area is 13 by 13 and the outside walls are 15 by 15 and it goes three deep the one challenge here guys it doesn't it, as long as it's an odd number it doesn't matter how big you make it honestly this is the size of the one in my world right here um looking back at it i probably wouldn't have made i probably would have made it a little smaller it pumps out so much cactus and honestly i don't even use cactus only for dying green wool so <laughs> it, it isn't even that much of a, a difference but honestly it looks good this size so all you got to do is a 15 by 15 wall with a 13 by 13 center um, and make it three high. So you can go ahead and pause the video and do it like that if you want. But what we're going to do now is uh, go and what you want to do is uh, put water in the corners of this bad boy. One, two. Again, it looks a little wonky because on my super flat, I actually just raised it up one because you're going to need a few blocks underneath this to make your tunnel. I like to have a little tunnel that drops go through. Um, and I know that super flat worlds are only three three deep so I, I needed one extra one there so there you go that's our first step water in each four corners find yourself some sand do this and there you go and then follow that pattern all the way this is way easier on survival this thing took me ages to build um, be careful on survival guys as well uh, water acts really wonky if you were to like put the block in the wrong spot replace it and it's really important that you keep an eye see like on survival right there that that could have glitched out the water always if it starts acting weird again just keep paying attention that this all flows to the middle um, again you don't need to put it in the center blocks here because you're not going to have anything to place it on um, so what you do here guys is go ahead and take one out where the water doesn't go it's pretty easy uh, one out one out one out but keep in mind guys that this, this is pretty fast on creative but on survival you're gonna have to do I did a lot of falling in water and then at some point in time you're just gonna end up going through the cycle like a piece of cactus um, and there you go so once you have this what I like to do is actually just go ahead now and I'm gonna look I want to put it off to the right side there so I'm just gonna go make my exit so I'm going to take this down one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. The reason I'm doing that is because we took one away. Let's go down here and I'm just going to tunnel my way out of this bad boy until I know I'm clear. And then let's just go ahead and I think I'm clear. I hope so. Yeah, boy. So this is going to be the little stairway that you're going to come in and out of. And this is where all the goodness is going to flow right in here. I have a pretty fancy one in my world with staircase and stuff. So you can decorate it however you want. But the key to this one here is let's just go ahead and place our sign. That's what we're mainly going to want here is uh, this sign right there. 
that's going to stop the water from flowing. Everything's going to come here, drop down. So for my purposes, I usually put one source of water here. That way I don't have to go all the way in. You just come here, put some chests. looks pretty cool. And there you go. So let's go back up into the game. So right here, guys, this is, again, one of the more challenging parts in survival. That's why you're going to need a water source. So you clear out the whole area here that uh, doesn't have water. And you're going to start by putting water here. 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 See, I made a mistake right there. That would. Inst Let's go ahead. What you're going to do is you want those first corners. So, the ones that stick out there. So, now that you've done that, you can see that all of the arrow ends here point forward, point forward, and then you're going to want to go here. 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 And there and there you go guys as you can see all pathways lead to the center that's how easy it is guys so that's exactly what you wanted to do you can just go ahead and just jump in and find out if you are successful because you're just gonna flow out out and this is where the cactus juice is gonna flow so let's get out of here let's jump in the sky and the water part guys is probably the most challenging so what you're going to do here is pretty easy. Again, this is stackable in any way that you want. You're just going to go ahead and put a cactus here. Everywhere up and down. Woo! What happened there? A little fast forward style. And let's go over here. One, two, three, four, five. Six. And there you go. So this is the first step. Um, on this part here, you're going to go ahead and get signs, lots of signs. Again, they're just wood, so they're easy to make in survival. And what you're going to do is just keep doing this. And you're going to throw a sign if you want. I need that sign. Where are you going? Come here. <laughs> and just go here and just keep placing them all the way across. It is a little trickier because on this layer, you definitely don't have to do the middle area. Um, but this one here I know when I first kind of thought of this kind of I started trying to tinker with it but there you go that covers the whole row and then let's just go ahead and do that in the middle too you know what? we'll do the long side first again on the second layer guys you don't have to uh... you can just do the whole thing because it's gonna go right through and I was uh, when I first kind of started playing with this I was like you know I'm like why is I wanted to put the signs up higher I wanted the cactuses to grow two and then but it doesn't matter guys because once they grow one they're gonna fall in and it and it's infinite so you don't have to have it grow two they can all be one it doesn't it for me I know it's something that threw me off and I was trying to be greedy and make it higher but ultimately you don't have to this one here is gonna stop them already but I always just in case I missed it up <laughs> and keep the flow going with that idea And right there, right there. Signs are pretty easy to do in survival. They're not expensive at all. And then I just do the other side as well. No, oh, and again, where is it going? Perfect. <laughs> I'm getting off there. Having problems with keeping the sign in my hand. And just two more layers. Thank God I'm in creative. This on survival took a couple, it took a couple hours I think to make this on survival mode for me first um, but mine is only two layers high again honestly guys I don't really see a reason for it to be more than two layers high I have to tell you mine pumps out like pretty much if I do something when I walk by I grab a stack of cactus every time so I don't really see much of a super use for it but there you go you got the first layer the rest of this is actually pretty easy um, you're just going to go ahead and there's different ways to do this. You could do this with uh, fence posts if you want to make it look cool. But I just keep the sandstone look. So what you do is go over here and cover every one of them. Again, you can't just do it this way because they will not grow into it and fall off. They need the signs to knock them off. So what I do is I just go once over like this. And again, creative is handy for this. In survival, you have to break each of those blocks. So what I would use is like a dirt or something like that. And uh, it'll be easier. And then just go ahead and uh, place 
go ahead and place one more layer of sand, one more layer of a stone on top of that as well because this is going to be the one that holds your sand. Ooh. I'm happy. I should have made this one a little smaller. Um, again, you could make this seven, 72 or 73 wide if you really wanted to. Um, again, I don't think there's much use for it unless, you know, with TU-20 coming out, hoppers and droppers and comparators, there's going to be a way to store uh, this stuff at the end so you won't lose your drops. Because as it is, just add sand onto each one of these. As it is, you lose it after five minutes if you're not there to pick it up. So if this thing runs for three hours and you never stop by, you don't get any any cactus anyway. So the way I look at it is once TU-20 comes out and we got some hoppers and droppers and all that sort of thing. So the one thing I'm going to jump over on here is uh, you can go ahead and make your center have cactus once you get up to this level. So... What I'm going to do is just switch to stone and go ahead and put those four in the middle. And sand, sand, sand. Now go out and bust the one that's right on top of the cactus. Oh, tricky. Bust this one out. Up top with the sand. Bust this one, bust this one. That's what I get for trying to be a quick draw McGraw over here. And let's just go down the middle. I'm not going to sleep. We're almost done. Ah, oh, again, horrible. And make sure, guys, because if you don't take the one right on top of the cactus out, it's not going to actually give you anything. Um, let's just go down here. Over here. And pretty much done most of the hard work now. Uh, let's see, did I miss any? Nope, looks good to me. So after you're done that, guys, all you got to do is start your next layer. So again, you're going to want to maybe create another elevated wall. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go to sleep. That way you guys can see what you're doing. Perfect. And wake up time. Then we'll just start and put a layer around the outside. So I go back to my original stone and uh, pretty much for my cactus farm, I just make this as high as it has to be to hold the next row of signs. So you're going to see on top of this wall, what I'm going to do is actually put uh, a wall of four. But again, I don't usually fill in the middle because I just put glass there. I think that looks pretty cool. And uh, this is going to have a space of one between it and it. So you're just going to go up three. And then on the fourth one, we're going to just create a fence because that's going to give us what we need and not bad 12 minute video we're at right now so that's pretty good um based on the sheer amount of work that we had to do so and there you go and there you go guys like pretty much we're winding down the, the end of this video um again you just follow this procedure all the way up if you want and then uh you will have even more layers again i don't have a purpose for it especially since we don't have hoppers yet um once you have hoppers and droppers when tu20 comes out or 19 or whatever the heck people are calling it then you can make it mega high because then you could actually store it all um, until then you have to go pick it up so it is fully auto however it doesn't store it so and there you go I'm not going to bore you with a whole bunch more. I'm just going to show you. So on this one here, like I said before, guys, this is actually straight easy. We just do signs from end to end. I'll do one row, and uh, I think I'll take it off from there because you guys get the gist. Oh, maybe I'll do some. I don't know. Let's do this. And there you go. And then just duplicate that for the whole entire top. One in this row right here. One in this row right here. And there you go, guys. You don't have to do the end here. 
just do the center ones and there you go so I like to put a little bit of glass in these side walls here just kind of make it look sharp again you could take the middle layer of the front as well but okay guys if you like this video don't forget to smash that like button as well as subscribe to my channel if you want uh, some more uh, tutorials from me I don't know if they actually drop on creative I don't know I don't think so um, and there you go guys Enjoy the video, smash that like, subscribe to my channel, share this video on your social media, and I'll catch you on the next tutorial.